And on August 26th, we will be at the two-year mark of the disastrous um, Afghanistan withdrawal and the bombing, the suicide bombing that took place thereafter, killing 13 U.S. service personnel. And as we approach that dreadful anniversary, um, Gold Star families gathered in Escondido, California, at the invitation of Daryl Issa, a Republican, to tell their stories. And it was a remarkable event. These parents are angry. They are angry at the Biden administration for not taking responsibility for that withdrawal and what happened to their sons and daughters, for completely ignoring them uh, after it happened, not speaking their children's names publicly, trying to move on past this as soon as humanly possible because it was bad for Biden politically. But we listened to them and it was heart-wrenching and a very stark reminder of not just what happened that day and how poorly it was handled, but how they've been treated. Um, I'm gonna kick it off with Cheryl Rex, who had some thoughts on her exchange with Joe Biden. She's the mother of Lance Corporal Dylan Marola, and she talked about the moment they did meet with President Biden after uh, her son and the others were killed. Listen. When Joe Biden, our elected president, entered the room, when he approached me, his words to me were, my, my wife Jill and I know how you feel. We lost our son as well and brought him home in a fog-draped coffin. My heart started beating faster and I started shaking knowing that their son died from cancer and they were able to be by his side. After this encounter, I have never had any personal correspondence, nor has my son been honored or his name spoken by this commander in chief or his administration. How could so many pe people pay their respects, but nothing at all from the President of the United States on something he had conducted? It's pretty extraordinary. And you know, MBD, he, he's told that lie many times. Bo Biden did not die in Iraq. He may have died from this brain cancer, perhaps related to the burn pits that he was exposed to in Iraq, but he did not come home from Iraq in a flag-draped casket. And just the inappropriateness of saying that to a mother who had just lost her 19-year-old over there as a result of Biden's command, it's obvious to any thinking, feeling person. I don't know why Joe Biden thinks he can lie about the most grave and intimate details of his life. And he's made a habit of this with the story of his his wife, first wife's death. Um, he's falsely accused the the other person involved in the car accident of having had a, you know drinks for lunch and being a drunk driver. Um, it is a revolting thing and it, it cuts against his biggest strength supposedly as a politician was which was this this power of empathy uh but when it's an an empathy that is based on a lie it becomes just so sinister in his mouth to to utter that words or or in a sense to in a sense he's almost like <laughs> we talk about stolen valor but in a way he's like stolen suffering from these mm -hmm. gold star mothers it's a really um, sick quality about Joe Biden that that, that tears at, at this image of integrity and and soulfulness that he tries to portray. And, um, you know, he could have handled this so much better. I mean, all he had to do was the things that they are mentioning in that in those testimonies, speak their names, speak truthfully with them, honor their their sons and daughters. Um, politically, you know, the, the decision to withdraw from Afghanistan was made by the Trump administration, which had negotiated a withdrawal, and he del and Biden delayed it. He did not have to take full responsibility beyond anything except how it went that day. And he could have done so and and done so in a in a manful way, in a way that took responsibility that you know the commander in chief has to take these decisions that risk the lives of young men and women in uniform, our bravest, our best, the flower of our youth, and that these um, uh, terrorists um, are responsible for their deaths. 
and he just couldn't do it because it was too politically embarrassing. And it, it, they saw immediately in the polls that the American people ultimately lost confidence in the Biden administration that very day. They decided mm -hmm. this, this administration is incompetent in a fundamental way. And then Joe Biden's age is layered on top of that, that his, his incompetence is due in part to, you know, potentially his senility or to some reduced capacity he has as an octogenarian. And so uh, it is awful. And I imagine we're going to be hearing more from these families uh, when the general election campaign comes around. Yeah. And this this month, as we hit the two-year mark, you know, Rich, when you and MBD were on your way here to the Jersey Shore to join me for that 4th of July party we were talking about, the State Department on the eve of July 4th weekend released a scathing, guy. right? A scathing yeah. report on Afghanistan. So they knew they had to do it, but they buried it on the Friday before a holiday weekend. And it blamed, yes, President Trump's administration, but also the Biden administration uh, for a precipitous de decision to end the military mission there without contemplating or even considering, considering sufficiently worst case scenarios uh, and yep. saying it had serious consequences, uh, that those decisions and the failure to make them. Um, and saying, even though planning for the evacuation of Kabul began, began some time beforehand, um, the State Department was hindered by the fact that it was unclear who in the department had the lead. They didn't even know who was in charge when it came to eva evacuating our personnel and so on. No one understood who was in command. And the person who was the commander in chief is still in the job right now. After that bombing on August 26th, where we lost 13 service personnel, I mean, a week after, August 31st, Joe Biden came out and said this, and the families were not happy about this. Listen to him in SOP 5. Last night in Kabul, the United States ended 20 years of war in Afghanistan, the longest war in American history. The extraordinary success of this mission was due to the incredible skill, bravely, and selfless courage of the United States military and our diplomats and intelligence professionals. It was a lie. It was a political lie. It was inconsiderate and heartless toward the family of those who had just died days earlier, not even a full week earlier. And it was raised yesterday by Christy Shamblin, um, who is the mother-in-law of U.S. Marine Nicole Gee. Listen here. When our leaders, including the Secretary of Defense and our Commander-in-Chief, call this evacuation a success as if there should be celebration, it is like a knife in the heart. I live every single day knowing that these deaths were preventable. My daughter could be with us today. And that wasn't just one decision, it was many decisions. Many times over it could have been stopped. So to call it a success is a, a, an ultimate disrespect. It's a pattern with him, Rich. It, to, to call his failures successes and just hope the American people are too distracted to understand. Yeah, so the, the Bo Biden thing is just really weird. And it's either he's lying about it or he doesn't know the reality of it anymore. I'm not sure what's most disturbing. But like a, just, just a, a basic life lesson is when someone has experienced some unbelievable, heart-wrenching loss, even if you know what it's like, you don't say you know what it's like. You say there That's are right. no words, right? The the uh, the Bible tells the story of of Job, and and the the, the, the wisest uh, friend of Job is the one who just sits there and says nothing because there's nothing you can say. And that that's that's what you do. You, you don't say, "Oh, this happened, my boy, Bo," especially when it didn't. So what these families want is uh, commiseration. Uh, they want recognition for the, the sacrifices of their their children, and they want the truth. And that shouldn't be too much to ask for from the United States government. And just to portray this as as, as a success was a. Um, a terrible lie. Everyone knew it's a lie, so it didn't even have, you know, it didn't even work for them. And as MD, MD points out, you know, these families aren't going to get satisfaction, un unfortunately. But 
Biden did pay a price for this. It, it put him on a fundamentally uh, different trajectory. His reputation for competence, such as it was, just disappeared after this withdrawal, never to, never to return. But it's just a, it's amazing how, just very rarely, he's called on the lie about Bo Biden. You know, the, most of the press just ignores it. Like this is something normal when it's uh, when it's, it's really weird and disturbing. You're right. It's stolen suffering. Exactly right. This is not, and you shouldn't. You're right. When somebody says, oh my God, this horrible thing has happened to me, the response is not, something horrible happened to me too. Let's talk about me right. in response to your right. tragedy, especially if you're the commander in chief who put that person's child in harm's way to begin with. And as his own state department is concluding here, handled it horrendously. Junk science. That's what the doctor called many of those fruit and vegetable supplements on the market. Junk science because they use extracts of common produce department fruits and vegetables with few health benefits, let's face it. But I want to tell you about Field of Greens. Now, Field of Greens is different. They use the whole organic fruit and vegetable, not a watered-down supplement. And it's backed by a better health promise, which I'm about to tell you about. Each ingredient in Field of Greens was scientifically chosen to support vital organs like heart, lungs, and kidney health. Others support your immune system, blood pressure, metabolism, and healthy weight loss. Their better health promise is simple. The next time you're at the doctor for a checkout, if the doc doesn't say something like, you are looking healthier than before, you get your money back. That's a deal right there. So let me get you started with 15% off. Visit fieldofgreens.com and use my promo code MK. That's promo code MK at fieldofgreens.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.